what you can do on a very short trip to Riga, my absolute favorite place. It's the highlight of Riga. Ciao. You ready for a shot? Yes. A must view if you come to Riga is where the nightmare begins. To one of my favorite places, if not my favorite place, the largest indoor market in Europe. This is Mr. Khachapuri Riga. It's amazing. Hello. Hello. Cheers, guys. Welcome, welcome, please, in Riga. Morning, guys. I've just landed in Riga and I'm here for two days. And in this video, I'm going to share with you what you can do on a very short trip to Riga and sometimes what you shouldn't or cannot do as well. Let's go. All right, well, I've just come out the terminal and the first thing you shouldn't do, or the first thing you should, is avoid anybody that offers you a taxi ride. Good morning. How are you? Nice. How much to the center? Approximately uh, 20, 25 euros. 20, 25 euros. Okay, I think I'll hop on the bus. Okay. Bus stops there? To the center. Okay, great. Guys, as you see, 20, 25 euros to the center. Your other option is a bus stop there with a bus number 22. But there are a couple of other options. One is, there's two apps, one called Bolt and one called Forus, F-O-R-U-S. And I checked at the terminal. The economy car on Bolt, 11 euros. What a deal. Better than 25, that's for sure. And your other option on Bolt is you have a Bolt Drive. Now, just down there, there's a parking lot and you can actually get a car yourself. And if you enter the destination right here, which I'm going to do, they estimate the cost will be about 10 euros 77. So I'm gonna, not going to mess around with that. I'm going to order a taxi and go to the center. A black Volvo arriving in five minutes. Perfect. All right, guys, so I'm sat in the cab, 11 euros to the center. You saw the official cabs are 25. That's still all right. But the guys that stand outside and say, taxi, taxi, avoid them at all costs. I've got a friend that uh, landed a couple of weeks ago. He's paid 52 euros to go to the center. Um, so yeah, first thing not to do is get in those cabs. Or maybe guys, you arrive in Riga by bus, which is a great alternative because ever since Wizz Air stopped flying to London from Riga, this has been a lifesaver for me because it's opened up the Vilnius airport and it's a short bus ride. It's super comfortable. It gets you right here. Look over here, guys. That's the market. That over there in the distance is the old town and you arrive right in the center of town. Now, I'm such a fan of this company. I've agreed with them that you guys, if you want to use their service, get a 30% discount on their tickets. All you got to do at checkout is use the code LOOKSJEE30 for an amazing discount. Check them out because even if you're zigzagging the uh, Baltics and Poland, it's a great service. And the crazy thing is, guys, the bus ride from Vilnius all the way to Riga with a discount will probably set you back less than a train ride from London to Luton or Stansted. So bear that in mind as an option. Remember the code at checkout looks JEE30 and you'll get a 30% discount. And whilst you're in Riga, you're going to want some breakfast and I'm going to share with you my absolute favorite place. They serve what is known as Pierogies. Don't confuse them with the Polish pierogies, which are dumplings. Very similar sounding word. These are more like the Russian pierogies, the little pastries. There's one place here that has a huge assortment. So let's go and eat. Man Venu Senu uh, Bouillona, Bouillona. Yeah. Yeah. Un uh, Capostu yeah. Fiera yeah. Un yeah. Chocolate yeah. Yeah. Un Flat White yeah. 
Well, this. Try doing that, guys, when you're in Latvia. Well, this. So, guys, this is what I was talking about, and I got myself a lot. Now, I've got a trick because they're all delicious, but I've got my absolute favorite one, which is this one mushroom. Now, I'm gonna go through quickly through them, but the reason why I do this, I like to start with the mushroom and end with the mushroom. So I'll eat half of each and then... Oh, guys, the flavor is so intense. And look, the ladies are making them right there. Thanks, guys. It's a very traditional one with cabbage. Amazing. This, guys, cheese. Basically, it's just the dough with melted cheese on top. Mm. And finally, guys, yes. I was hungry. This is what they call bouillon, which is stuffed with meat. It's delicious. Now, clean the palate with a bit of this coffee. And this, guys, is the chocolate one. Absolutely love it. Well, guys, make sure you come here when you're in Riga. There's one in the old town. There's a few in the center. You absolutely won't regret it. Now, I'm gonna tuck into this. So guys, right there across the street, is what is known as the corner house. It's iconic here in Riga. Everybody knows what you're talking about when you mention the corner house, and there's a very specific reason for that. A must view if you come to Riga. So let's go and visit the corner house real quick. Does this give you any clues as to what this might be? You can only imagine once upon a time how you would enter this place. And there's a lovely lady here called Veronica. Hi there. Hello. Can I just go down real quick? Yeah. Yeah, Show yeah. my friends. Thank you very much. So as I said, guys, I've made a full video about this place. This is how impressed I am by it. Now, what you have here is the old Cheka building. Cheka, which eventually became known as the KGB. So guys, the building itself is absolutely gorgeous dates back from an era when people really constructed amazing architecture. But just through there is where the nightmare begins. Definitely visit this place. It's left intact. It's exactly how it would have been once upon a time. And perfect way to spend your morning in Riga. about guys like this, Iman Shlashinskis, who was actually a double agent spy who defected to the West in 1978. I just love this kind of stories. What's impressive, guys, is that everything is left as it was. It's as if, you know, the people that used to run this nightmare of a place literally just left yesterday. Unbelievable. It's an eerie kind of place and easy to get lost in. It's actually unbelievable how authentic this place has remained. It's literally as if it was operational just a few days ago and the people that were responsible for running this place just left. As a matter of fact, I think up until about 10 years ago, it was still operational, but this is how authentic this is. Tell you what, every time I go into that building, it stirs up emotions and you kind of get this surreal feeling. So guys, remaining on the history note, let's head to another part of Riga called the Quiet Center. Let's go. So guys, be sure to visit what is known as the Quiet Center. It's a magnificent place. Street full of cafes just like this one. But also, at the turn of the last century, at the turn of the 20th century, Riga was really going through a major expansion. And at the time, the type of architecture that was really 
you know, in vogue was the Art Nouveau and it's absolutely breathtaking, it's amazing. And as a matter of fact, Riga has the largest amount of Art Nouveau buildings in the world, more than Paris and more than Brussels. So be sure to visit the Quiet Center because it's a museum on the street. Just walk around, take a look. It's breathtaking, you won't regret it. Well guys, next I recommend heading to the Central Market, an amazing place here in Riga, a real gem. Now on your way there, go through the parks. There's about four or five parks between Quiet Center and the market, and I promise you, you won't regret it. And on a sunny day, there's loads of people about, a real good excuse to maybe meet the locals. Let's keep going. So guys, we've made it to one of my favorite places, if not my favorite place in Riga, and that's the Central Market. Take a look at this. Isn't it just inviting? You just want to go in there and taste everything. Hello, young lady. Look at these strawberries. At any rate, dedicate some time for this place because there's a lot to see, a lot to experience, a lot to savor. You won't regret this one. So let's take a little walk around the market and give you a few tips on the market. Let's go. So be sure to check out all the vendors and the different areas of the market because different areas equals different prices. So the main entrance where we were have the higher prices. This guy's where we're walking now have cheaper prices and that doesn't always mean cheaper quality so know that and you can get loads of things here from clothing to flowers bits and pieces old ladies selling underwear it's a fascinating place but i think it's time for another another drink so it's cold my nose is runny and we need to warm up so let me show you a place that i really like here in uh, at the central market let's go except for the outdoors guys this market is comprised of five pavilions. Now, anybody that watch the ch watches the channel regularly knows that these pavilions used to house zeppelins and they've been converted into a market, which is actually the largest indoor market in Europe. Not bad for one of the smallest countries in Europe. Now, you have a pavilion for meat, where you can get all the cuts you can imagine. You have a pavilion for dairies and sweets, which is right behind me great variety there's another pavilion for fish which we're going to go to in just a minute but if you're here and you want to grab lunch which should be around lunchtime if you started this video in the morning then uh, you also have this food court where you got a variety of different foods from kebabs typical place where they serve frozen dumplings pancakes a lot of places are shut now but Definitely check it out. Look over there, guys. You've got a Pilmeni place, a Belash, Pankoopas, all worthwhile. So guys, first time I see this, seems to be a shop with Ukrainian products. Let's go and have a look what Ukrainian products are like. That looks like a uh, Ukrainian snicker bar. This is the best, Russian. Russian in is the best? Yes. Best it's chocolate in Ukraine? It's President, you remember Poroshenko? Oh, it's that's his here. company. Very good, we'll have to try some. Thank you, young lady. How cool is that? We're getting some advice from the local. Are you from Ukraine? From Ukraine? What city in Ukraine? Dnieper. Oh, Dnieper. Very nice. Russian, Russian seems to be the most popular. Ukrainian tea, Ukrainian zephyr, which is like a marshmallow. And then you've got all these Ukrainian sausages right here and fish. However, there's a pavilion that sells fish just down there. And that's impressive. But check it out. When you come to Riga, check out the Ukrainian product shop. Guys, I'm buying, I'm looking at vodka bottles here in the market. And this young lady, I heard her speaking with uh, this other young lady in uh, Russian, was it? Yeah. Next thing, she speaks in English in a flawless Irish accent. I used to live in Sligo for eight years. Really? Yeah. Are you, from Sli are you from Ireland yourself? No, I'm from England. Okay, I know, I was thinking the English accent, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's pretty, I didn't expect that. It was like, am yeah. I an island or what? No, I have a really strong accent. 
like anyone who hears me speak English here, no one understands me, not even my own friends. Yeah, because I mean, for, it's really for an Englishman, the Irish accent, some Scottish accents, just you can't yeah. understand them at all. Northern Ireland, forget yeah. about. It. If you go to Dublin or Cork, forget it. You're not going to understand a single thing. So I can imagine foreigners trying to get it. How long did you live in Ireland? Uh, from 2016 up to last year. So, so what, about eight years. Eight years, yeah. And then I decided, let's go home. You really picked up the accent well yeah. in that short time. Your name is Katrina. Katrina, lovely to meet you. Thank you, young lady. <laughs> Thanks for the uh, what did well, chocolates. chocolates? Yeah, I bought yeah. some chocolates. So. Bye bye. That was surprising. That was really surprising, guys. Other than the food court, there are other good options if you want to grab some food here. Right there, you have a uh, Uzbek bakery that does amazing samosas. And right opposite there, you have an amazing fish restaurant that I've eaten before on camera. And they make an amazing fish soup. And right at the end there, there's some cool. Soviet memorabilia for you on the wall that's authentic so either one of these you won't be disappointed but now we've arrived into the fish pavilion and take a look at this abundance of varieties of fish smoked fish fresh fish frozen fish cooked fish raw fish seafood <laughs> all sorts canned fish anything you can imagine Pertaining to fish, you can find here. Caviar, amazing stuff. I'm gonna head to a little stand here that if you're here in the cold and you wanna warm up, this is something I could recommend to you. Stop over and visit my young lady friend here. Hello, how are you? You know why I'm here, right? You want to drive? That's all you sell, right? You don't sell anything else. So I'm here for one of those. Used to be 160, then it went to 220. Inflation, it's called inflation. About a year ago, yeah? You don't even fill up the glass for 220. I'm sorry? Not till the end, for 220, you don't fill no, it till the no, end. Okay, Oh, there's a line? Yeah. There's a line, guys. 220, guys. That's uh, that's not cheap. But this is what is known as Samagon, moonshine, homemade vodka. And they use honey to actually make this vodka. It's fabulous. Warm you up. Thank you, young lady. Oh. I'm going to take the glass over there. I'll bring it back after. Okay. Now, guys, you wouldn't dream of drinking this without having a snack. It kind of goes together. What's your name? Ludmila, thank you Ludmila, I'm gonna drink for your help. You wouldn't dream of having one of these guys without a bit of a snack. So let's make our way to this table, put our drink right there. The young lady here doesn't like to be recorded, so I'm, I, I know I'm gonna record me, I already know. Never show this young lady on video. I hear the mama. give up the melody. I hear the Something. You're the Please. Shamama? Yeah. Why a kettle o'clock? Fagel o'clock. Fagel o'clock. <laughs> Very nice. So, what are we going to have today? I think I'm going to go with one of these. They always look so good, your sandwiches. You know that? Okay. One of those and one of those. So, that's uh, 240. Thank you. Is it? Is it? Please, please, me, let me go. Ah, you also sing very nice, young lady. Inglebird Humperdinck, yes. Humperdinck, okay. Please release me, let me go. What is your name, young lady? Veronique. Veronique. Je ne parle French. Ah, vous êtes français? Je voudrais vous aussi parler en French. I speak guitar, I speak accordion, I speak trompette. Trompette, guitar, yes, accordion? Yes, yes. Trompette. Violin. 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 Oh, alles. Cheers. Talent. Talent. Veronique Talent. Yes. Bravo. So guys. Trusko, trusko. Pane ni mnoško. Sad je ni nada. Trusko. Trusko. Little. Little. Ukrajinski razumiš? Razumiš pa po ukrajinski. Še ne bačil Ukrajino. Še ne zmrlo Ukrajino. Še po kimi pijemi. Oh, polski, polski. Ah, polski. Tell you what guys. 
It never gets boring and it never gets old. You meet some lovely, interesting people. Lovely fish, guys. Sorry, I'm not being more descriptive of what I'm doing here. I just didn't expect this company. You use Arbeit in Riga. Arbeit. Again, say who? You. What again? You. Me again? Say who? James Bond. Vietnam Vichita. Right here I have a um, curry one. Skumbria. Mackerel. Should be good. Cheers, guys. Come to the market. You won't regret welcome, it. Welcome, welcome, please, in Riga. Welcome, welcome, please, in Riga. Mm -hmm. And you can meet Veronica in Riga right here at the market yeah. and uh, ah. have a good time. You need to forget your last trust, your last for buying. Let's check it out. Does your memory streets were bright and sunny fine, fine. when I kissed you and called you sweet? Fine, fine, fine. Thank you, my darling. You spiel instrument? Mm hmm. Guitar. Waiting for you in Riga, guys. Guys, that was the Riga Central Market for you, and I cannot emphasize, do not miss this place. Guys, right here at the Agens Counts Market, this is where you want to come for lunch. You've got to venture slightly outside the city center, but boy, is it worth it. Not only will you get a great lunch, and there's huge varieties in there, but you also catch some history, some culture. This place was built in the 19th century, and it's been a market ever since. During the Soviet times, it was called the Agens Counts Kalkhoz Market, which is the cooperative. And till today, it's an amazing place. Let's go. The vibe here, guys, take a look. It's absolutely amazing. Look at this stuff. Now this market, guys, is a bit upmarket, let's put it this way. But you'll get all the varieties that you can get in the central market, but laid out differently. So, well worth a visit. Oh, guys, I'm not gonna do it today. But this ice cream, right there, Mulberts, absolutely amazing. Phenomenal ice cream. Hello, mate. I mean, look at these breads. They're absolutely amazing. How are you, my friend? Hey, Justin. I watch your videos. <laughs> You're doing good? Yeah, I'm doing good. And what are you selling here? These are Kashmiri shawls, but they call them here blankets. You know? But they're made from Kashmir. Are they made from Kashmir? Yeah, you can use them for your neck, for your shoulder, sitting on couch, home, like this. Like this. You can use the both sides. It's comfortable, isn't it? Yeah, both sides. What about the sweaters? You do Kashmir sweaters? Not yet. Ah, I'm going to order from Kashmir. You'll yeah. bring me some from Kashmir. Yes, yes. This is very nice. Yeah. So soft, huh? Yes. Sir. How long have you been living in Riga? So almost four years. Four years? Yeah. You like it? Yeah, it's nice country. Yes. Nice uh, nature. And how did you end up in Riga? <laughs> if it's not a secret on camera. No, I just came Yeah. So I don't want to. Not, not student, huh? No, no. A lot of Indians are no, studying. No, 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 I'm not. I'm anyway, not yeah. what's your name? Hakim. Hakim. Lovely to meet you, my friend. Uh, and I have one more friend who wants to meet you. Oh, what is he selling? Uh, you are the man. Oh, ah, yeah, I saw you just a minute ago. <laughs> How do you do? You well? Very well. What are you selling here? Do you know what Quince is? I know quince, the, 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 is it a fruit? Is it classified a fruit or? Yeah, as a berry. A berry. But it looks like an apple. A very it's, big berry. No, uh, we have the one which grows in bushes, which means they are smaller. Oh, right. But it's close relative to it. Hold on a second, I'll make you a drink. I'm having a drink here. Alcoholic or not? No, not yet. Not yet. <laughs> Too early in the day. Too early, yes. You were here already several times I've seen you. Yeah, you? yeah, yeah, yeah. It's one of my favorite places in Riga, this. All right. So, here we go. So this is syrup, yeah? So this you water is syrup, it down. And I add some sparkling water to it, and it becomes lovely lemonade. Quince yeah. lemonade. Quince, Quince lemonade. aid. We can call it <laughs> Quince aid. Yes. Hold on, I'll check it myself before I give it to you. Otherwise, I the even have a taster can here. Drop, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, guys, I told you, apart from the fact that you've got history, culture, amazing food upstairs, you've even got friendly guys down here. So, what's your name? All this. All this. Yes. Let's try this. 
I used to live in Ireland for about five years. Ireland? And at that time they couldn't remember my name. So I was explaining them. All this, all that. So all this, all <laughs> <laughs> This is really yeah. good actually. I know, yeah. We call it here Northern Lemon. Because it's, got, it's got a lemony taste to it, isn't it? This has a, it's on number one on the list from the all fruit and vegetable. What Sorry, I'm not. See which one, indeed. Yes. Oh, your hands are not shaking, so no yeah. bar yesterday, no? No, no. <laughs> we finished early. Good morning, young lady. How yes. are you? Ciao. You ready for a shot? Yes. Yes. Glasses over. I'll give you a shot. Yes. Uh. <laughs> see, I'm, I'm going to drink yeah. for this young lady's health. Glasses. Uh, yeah. Uh, it's really good, guys. Look how friendly yeah, yeah. they are. So, that is phenomenal. Uh, I'll give you the taste of this, the fruit itself, which so, is dried. Dried quince. Oh, it's sweet, yeah? So, because we add some sugar to it. Lovely. Otherwise, it's uh, very sour to eat. Oh, it's very sour. It's yeah. lovely. It's like a sour candy. Indeed. We call it uh, the Haribo berries. Oh, yeah, Haribo, yeah. Yeah, this is the natural Haribo. Mm. Do you even make marshmallows or what? Indeed, yeah. From the cool. Queen's juice. Phenomenal. Unfortunately, I have no samples for it, but that's the quince which is grinded and dried as a tea. So you everything with quince with you guys? Yes. Mr. Because quince. I have a plantation of quince. 13, oh, really? 13,000 bushes. Where's that? Near Leopai. Do you know where Lepaya is? Yeah. Have you been there? Yeah, Carosta, all those Carosta, places. Yes, indeed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not far away Definitely, from Definitely, I'll come and visit your plantation. Is there anything interesting to see there? The process, how you do it? It may. When, when they, uh, what do you call it, glooming? Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's lovely there. Let's, let, let's exchange phone numbers and I'll come and, uh, and see you guys in May. Why yeah. not? Another trip, guys. Always open for that. Fantastic. I'll be calling you in May to come and visit your place. Superb. Superb. Kari Hakim. 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 Very good. I did watch your video, so that's how I recognize me. Yeah. Yeah. I was walking around. He recognized me. Right yeah. now. And, uh, more popular than I am. Yeah. Ah. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> where you eat mm. with the caviar. Yeah. And I saw that video. Then I went there. You told them it was real. Yeah. Did you like the croissant? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Amazing. Amazing. You know the place? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The one, uh, Belletage. It's a, a lady called uh, Julia. She makes amazing croissants. And I've eaten them in Vienna, in Paris, in London. She makes the best. The absolute best. Anyway, guys, once again, pleasure to meet you. All the best. Thanks a lot. How cool is that? Super friendly, guys. You come here, you will not regret it. Yeah, you have really some things from different halvas, Chulchela from Georgia, you have Lukum from, uh, from Turkey. Let's go upstairs, I'm hungry, I'll show you upstairs. So guys, once you make your way upstairs to the second floor, you'll be pleasantly surprised with an amazing food court with a multitude, a huge variety of different things to eat. My absolute favorite, and every time I'm in Riga, you know I'm a fanatic, is the Khachapuri. So, let's go and have one. How are you, my friend? Good. This is Mr. Khachapuri Riga, for sure. He makes the best Khachapuri in town. And whenever I'm in Riga, I always come for my Khachapuri. So, I want one Khachapuri with the egg. Okay. Okay. Uh, There's only just uh, cheese and egg, or cheese with greens and egg, or cheese with spinach and egg. Which one you would like? You surprised me. Okay, They're all good. Just, uh, you this... surprised me. They're all good. I trust you okay. 100. Okay. And uh, we'll try one of your drinks, guys. They've got these traditional Georgian lemonades. They bring them from Georgia. Now, during the Soviet times. Lemonades were actually served like this. Syrups, like yeah, but you syrup yeah. and then you put the water, the uh, gas water, water. sparkling water. Yeah. It's I'll, the best. It's the best. Give me one. I'll try it. Looking okay. forward to it. Okay. Guys, the lemonade is tarhun. It's actually made of tarragon. Very unusual, but very popular. Delicious. I'm not one to drink sodas, but this stuff, absolutely amazing. Thank you, my friend. 
guys take a look at this masterpiece it's amazing so guys they don't just specialize in khachapuri they also do what they call khinkali which is amazing and they actually supply you with instructions on how to eat it the traditional way so but i've been to georgia so many times i don't need this but follow the instructions very happy or watch how i do it so guys i'm excited about sharing this with you so the tradition is break off the corner right like that and you want to mix in the egg with the cheese kind of like this It's amazing. Look guys, even the crust is filled. Amazing. Mm. Guys, I'm gonna tap into this, then we'll keep going. Now guys, when you come here, be sure to check out the website because for instance, on the weekends, they have flea markets, but they've always got things going on. So check out, see what's happening because it's a really interesting place. We've got loads of these vendors all over the place. Look at these old fashioned cassettes, guys. Remember these? I think I've come late, they're packing up, but uh, definitely worth a visit, guys. So that's Agen's Counts Market for you. Let's keep going. Well, guys. When you're in Riga, you have to dedicate some time to the old town. It's the highlight of Riga. It's absolutely amazing. It's like walking into a fairy tale with amazing cobblestone roads. Right now, I'm on the Dom Square, probably the most famous square here in Riga. But there are loads of streets and alleyways that branch off from here. Get lost in the city. The architecture is amazing. The bars are cool. The nightlife is great. You won't regret it. Dedicate some time for the old town because it's the highlight of Riga and I absolutely love it. First stop guys, a cool place called Miss and Mr. Beer. Let's go. All right guys, when you are in Riga, it's an absolute must. You have to visit this place, Miss and Mr. Beer. Such a unique place. You know me, I like unique places. And this place is absolutely phenomenal. And it's cold out there. I've been walking for miles. So I think I'm gonna warm up to, how about a Riga Balsams? You got that? Sure. Yeah, sure. I wasn't gonna have a bottle. <laughs> And the staff here, guys, are super friendly, but this pretty young lady doesn't want me to put her on camera, so we have to respect that. Guys, you won't regret it. Come here. It's the bomb. To Miss and Mr. Beer. All the best. Oh. And guys, another thing you have to try in Riga is this famous Riga Balsam. It's like medicine with a 94 proof. And I promise you, you can't keep a straight face drinking this. And the first time you try it, you're gonna think, what the hell, but it grows on you, trust me. Anyway, guys, let's keep going. But uh, yeah, come to Riga. Guys, what a gem. Definitely come and visit this place. You won't regret it. Let's keep going. It's another legendary place here in Riga. A must visit is the famous Kiwi Bar, sports bar. You can get all your games there. It's really where the expats hang out and uh, another cool place. But Kiwi Bar, when you're in Riga, check it out. Now, as I said, guys, absolutely get lost in the old town. Venture into all these little alleyways and I promise you, you're gonna find some gems. As a matter of fact, during the Soviet times, Riga was a movie set. So many famous Soviet movies were actually filmed here. Yes, he no, 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 no. Hello. 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 Happy birthday. Uh, I'm sorry, English. No English? English, I'm sorry. Hello. Hello. <laughs> 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 yeah. 
and you get happy people too. But yes, as I was saying, Sherlock Holmes, big and famous productions during the Soviet times, and they were recorded here in Riga. And I know why, because it's absolutely gorgeous. Oh yeah, guys, and again, cool place called Two More Beers. I'm showing you all the bars, but if you're like me, you like a drink or two, so enjoy. Guys, it's evening here in Riga, and I tell you, the weather's not getting any better. But there's a few more places I need to show you, and one of them is literally a landmark here in Riga, and that's this place over here called Alla, Folks Clubs Alla. Now, this place, you don't just get a few drinks, you get a whole experience. This is about culture, it's about local food, and you didn't think I was gonna let you leave Latvia without tasting some local foods. And another surprise, if you're here on Wednesdays, you might even experience some local dancing, some folk dancing. So let me show you this place. Let's go. So guys, right away you can see they have things going on most days, uh, but the place itself is quite unique. Have a look. First and foremost, no Latvian evening would be complete without the Riga Balsam. So, to a wonderful evening, guys. That just to open up the appetite, you know, before dinner. having a bit of a break super hot in there so I'm just cooling off but the funniest thing ever I'm listening to this guy right here speaking Latvian when this guy speaks Latvian I understand half of it because he speaks half English is that true or not I just yeah. to be listening to you and I'm yeah, like yeah. is he speaking Latvian or English I can't quite get it. yeah it's like mixed Latvian and English because usually my English is better than Latvian so oh really mix it yeah I'm local but the thing is I used to speak just Russian it's my mother tongue right so English might be in the next language, although most here speak Russian or Latvian. Mm. So it's like... Mixed. So you're a, you're a Russian speaker who speaks better English than Latvian? Correct, yeah. And when you do speak Latvian, you speak half Latvian, half English? Usually like that, yeah. If I need to, like in university or something, I try. But if I can't say something in Latvian, usually someone will understand in English. That's the point. Can I ask you a question now? Sure. You must be bloody freezing. It's snow. It was snowing <laughs> earlier. What's wrong with you? Are you yeah. serious? Yeah, I dance like this, so I'm like warm and I do sports, so I don't freeze like, you know. I get I got used to this weather. It's shit here. <laughs> it's pretty <laughs> bad, yeah. It's been yeah. pretty bad today, but anyways. Nice to meet you. What's your name, buddy? Alex. Alex. Full name Alex, but you can I'm Justin. Alex. Good to meet you. So I was dancing with you earlier. I just don't know any of the steps. I'm just pretending. Yeah. I'm pretending like I know, but I really don't. That's the point. Everyone here comes, like they watch, and they just do what everyone else does. Your dances are easy. Some are more complicated that even I can't comprehend, but <laughs> yeah, it's how it goes. Your like, English is really good. Yeah. You've got yeah. some good vocabulary. Yep. I also, well, I also work in a company which has English as official, so I'm better at that, and like technical part. I can't speak in Latin. Oh, you're like... a technical guy. You work on a keyboard, huh? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> anyway, lovely to meet you. I'll see you back inside, yeah. mate. Cheers. See you back. Let's see if the food's up. I'm getting hungry. Go ahead, young lady. Thank you. Excuse me. Yeah, I'm from. I'm from England. I'm from England. Where are you from? Oh, where, where did you think I was from? You thought you were American. Well, good catch. I was born in London, grew up in Florida. So. Yeah, because the accent's not British. Yeah. Probably can't see us. We're sitting in the dark here, and this camera will never pick up the light. What's your name? Sandis. Sandis. Justin, you are? Lever. I know this guy. This is my cab driver. This is. Uh, wait, wait. Ah, Ardis. Ardis. <laughs> 
He's my cab driver. Say hello. I rode a cab with this guy tonight. What a small town Latvia is, or Riga, right? He's also here. Oh, you're a dancer? Unbelievable. That's that's why he wanted to take the ride. <laughs> But anyways, I'll see you guys on the dance floor. Yeah. Pleasure to meet you, Sandys and Lima. Yes. I won't. See you later. Very friendly people here, guys. A bit of light here, so I know you'll catch me. So let's go and see if the food's ready. Guys, first and foremost on the menu is this amazing Latvian rye bread that is garlic bread basically coast toasted and this place is famous for it if you come to Riga definitely try out this especially here at Ala oh. guys crispy on the outside chewy in the middle amazing guys next on the menu your Latvian potato pancakes love these things and they come with um, some kind of sauce which we're gonna put on and there's a red one too and we're gonna fold this up and off we go heaven guys the food here is top notch you won't regret it That was absolutely phenomenal. I've got to say, definitely a must when you're in Riga. The food, spectacular. The vibe, even better. The people, super friendly. What more can you ask for? Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this vi video on my one day in Riga. Until the next time, guys, remember, enjoy your journey.